I already had an addictive personality. But then, when I got hooked on the blood, it was over. I've been incarcerated for approximately 45 years, three weeks, two months and a day, five hours, 26 minutes, 37 seconds. Maybe I would drink it like a, anywhere from a quart to a half a gallon a day. And probably at my worst, I was up to a gallon. But, um, you know, there's nothing like a blood hunger to really, I mean, that is just, it's bad. It's real bad. You know, I'm, I'm recovering and uh, I've got some support from um, my cellmate is a, a vampire. And so we talk about it, you know. We have some things in common, so it's good to find that kind of connection. It's, it's not a question of if I, I need or I want it. It's just that I need it. My, I can't go without it now. I mean, vampires, ticks, I mean, leeches. We got them all in this, this unit here. This is uh, maximum security. Well, as you can see, I've got some health issues now and my health is failing. So if I, if I had to go back, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have, maybe I would have, I don't know. I know what was wrong, but you can't go back in time. You can't take it back. I mean, I don't want to minimize the situation. I, I am a bloodthirsty maniac. I am. I will drink your blood. I will. Well, you start to lose track of time after a while. I mean, I'm not saying that I didn't do what I did to deserve to get in here, but... I'm sick, I tell you, I need the blood. It all ended with um, that girl, you know, I, I saw her and uh, I bit her, I bit her hard. Here I am. <laughs>